Hey everyone, today we're going to try a homestead hack. I wanted to put on a cheek riser on my Ruger American to get my eye alignment with my Vortex Scorp. And so I haven't found one I really like. So I just picked up this anti-fatigue roll mat. And uh, because it's about the right thickness that I want to use. So I'm going to cut this out. And then wrap it and see if I uh, can't make a cheek riser here and with some wrap. Uh, I'm going to start out with some medical wrap that I have today. And uh, uh, later this week, I've got some camo wrap coming in uh, that we will uh, cover that with to make it look a little better. So let's give it a shot and see how it goes. Okay, now, so we've cut this piece here out to mold it like so so that should give us a pretty good cheek rise there and uh, so now I'm going to uh, wrap the thing to keep it securely in place and see how it turns out so let's do that part next Okay, so we're going to start this wrap process. I'm trying to get that in place where I need it. And this stuff is kind of stretchy. So we're going to let it stretch out. And I think we'll go in and cut around that. Okay, so that gives us nice <sighs> This stuff is pretty stretchy, so let's see if we can just stretch it over. Expose our sling. That should work. Now, when I get my camo wrap, I'll be able to go in and that get me about a. Maybe about a 3 8 inch muzzle rise or stock rise. So, let's take a sight down my scope and see how that fits. Okay, so that gave me um, about the right height. Um, and so when I get my camo wrap, I will uh, wrap that in camo. Uh, I sighted line sided down my scope with the cheek pad uh, on there and that's about the right height. So um, this roll here uh, that I got at um, Harbor Freight cost me like 10, 11 bucks. And so I've got most of it left. I just needed one little piece that I cut out um, and then put that on here shaped it to how I wanted it, the right size and shape uh, that I was looking for. And so I think it's going to uh, be very good. It's very durable, uh, but a little bit cush for the for the cheek. Um, and this 
has a nice texture to it. So uh, the camo cling that I got coming, uh, we'll update the video when that comes in, but I'm happy with it so far. Uh, so that gives me a little bit of the chic rise and a little bit something softer than this uh, polymer stock. So uh, our little uh, homestead hack seems to have um, worked. So uh, we'll give it a good wrap and take it out to the range and let you know um, how well it worked for us. All right, we got the uh, camouflage wrap on now. So the uh, stock turned out very good. I like this texture. Uh, it looks good on the green uh, stock. To balance it out, we put some out on the uh, distal scope. And I think that looks well together. Uh, it works good. And uh, it turned out really good. So I'm happy with our little homestead hack here and how it turned out. Uh, my uh, eye alignment for this uh, Diamondback Vortex scope uh, turned out just great. Uh, and uh, catch us again as we have some video coming out here about the different ammo we shot through the Ruger American 6.5 Creedmoor and what turned out best. So like and subscribe for videos like this and others. Uh, and we hope you enjoyed this video and how my Ruger American Predators and 6.5 Creedmoor turned out.